It's Strawberry Story Time! Hello, little berries. Welcome back to Strawberry Story Time. Today's story I have for you is called Madame Miraculous and the Messy Laboratory, written by Miracle Sims. Shall we go and find out how she sorts this mess out? Madame Miraculous walked into the lab with a cup of tea and wearing a robe that dragged. She put her tea on the table and walked away to start her routine and begin her day. Her lab was a mess, but she didn't care. I'll get to it later, she thought as she sat in her chair. She thought to herself, what experiment will I do today? As she logged into her computer and started to type away. After a minute or two, she leapt out of her chair because she reached out for something that was not there. I almost forgot my toast and jam, she said as she ran to the toaster. On the way, she tripped in her flip-flops and her tea fell off the coaster. Ow! she yelped as she wondered what that liquid could be, but sighed a sigh of relief when she realised it was only her tea. Well, that could have been worse, she said as she used her robe to wipe the tea away. Now, time to get up and go on about my day. But as she struggled to sit up, she bumped her head. So she decided to stay on the floor instead. This just isn't my morning, she grumbled and murmured, rubbing the knot on her head as it started to get firmer. That is when she smelt the scent of burnt toast in the air and sat up much more carefully this time, fanning the smoke away from her loose hair. Well, there goes breakfast, she said, as she stood up. That's it. No more procrastinating. Enough is enough. It's time for me to clean this messy laboratory. But the look on her face told another story. I don't know where to start, she said as she surveyed the room. So she paced back and forth instead, whilst ignoring her broom. Perhaps I can build a robot, she thought. Surely it could take care of this mess. But then again, she thought as she removed her burnt toast. That would be a rather long process. So that means time travel is out too. She resolved as she contemplated other options. This is quite the dilemma, she thought as she passed by her set of mix-match toxins. Oh, Tiri, she called out of her voice-activated device. Could you research a solution to clean my lab quickly that would suffice? Yes, Madame Miraculous, the device replied. There are many solutions that my search has supplied. Perhaps you could hire a maid to clean up your mess. A maid, Madame Miraculous considered. That would eliminate my stress. Or you could clean the mess yourself, Tiri suggested. Oh, no, 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 Madame Miraculous protested. I like the first suggestion. Help is what I need. So Tiri called several services to get help, indeed. After several attempts to find Madame Miraculous help and several conversations, Tiri found the perfect person to help Madame Miraculous and her particular situation. It was well past lunchtime as Madame Miraculous wasted the day away, so she made herself a sandwich whilst her lab remained in disarray. As Madame Miraculous ate her lunch and dropped crumbs on the floor, she almost missed the rather soft knock from the guest at her door. Madame Miraculous, said Tiri, the help I enlisted for you is here. Oh, thank you, Tiri, Madame Miraculous exclaimed. You truly are a dear. When Madame Miraculous opened the door, much to her surprise, a familiar face looked at her with disappointment in her eyes. Mother! Madame Miraculous exclaimed. What are you doing here? Something I should have done long ago. Something important, I fear. 
So Madame Miraculous's mother reminded her of the lab rules and helped her reorganise her laboratory. We hope you see how important lab rules can be because this, my dear, is the end of this story. I guess us mums always know best. Thanks for listening, guys. See you next time. Bye! Don't forget to subscribe.